Tonight's headlines are brought to you by McDonald's and Mariana's Coffee. Good evening, Commonwealth, and thanks for watching the Channel 2 News. I'm Dan Shore. Let's take a look at tonight's top story. Our new CNMI congressional delegate gives her, yes, her, first press conference. Also tonight, a new airline may be spreading its wings. And Monagaha Island's sole concessionaire concedes. We finally hear from MGI. Stay with us. These stories and more are next. Beginning October 16th, the doors of Miyako will reopen. Alongside the tranquil ocean and vibrant gardens inside the former Hyatt, Miyako will offer two weekday seatings for a special Japanese lunch buffet. Make your reservations Monday through Friday by calling 670-488-1000 and indulge in authentic dishes, including fresh, never frozen salmon and tuna. Make new memories at an old favorite Make it special. Make it Miyako. When you first tasted our spicy chicken with nuggets, lightly breaded and tempura and made with aged cayenne, maybe that cayenne blend made you cry a little. Well, now you can happy cry on your way to McDonald's because they're back. Spicy Chicken McNuggets, they're back. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Welcome to the Channel 2 News, Half a Day in Tirawami CNMI. We are coming to you from our studios up here in Capitol Hill. A new delegate to the U.S. legislature has been selected and elected. The afternoon following the election and after minimal sleep, Kimberly King Hines sits down at a backyard picnic bench to address the media. You know, Elections are mandates, and the people have decided to pick me as the team captain for the CNMI at the federal level, and uh, you know that's that's the game plan. Uh, but aside and separate from that, you know I, I would like to be the type of delegate that um, consistently engages community stakeholders. So I would like to, um, in short order here, after things get a little bit settled down just start reaching out to different stakeholders in the community to, to sit down and have a conversation about where gaps are, where are areas of opportunities, and uh, work out a plan where uh, we're not duplicating resources or manpower and just strategizing on how to bring a whole of government approach to some of these uh, you know, health and human services issues that is impacting our community. Ms. King Hines is only the second CNMI delegate to serve in the U.S. legislature. She is the first woman to do so and the first from the island of Tinian. 
This election has just ended, but her work has already begun. You know, so the work is starting now uh, in terms of reaching out to our federal partners and having these conversations about what the priorities are. Um, the governor also reached out and gave his congratulations. And, um, you know, I told him that we're going to have to sit down to discuss what his priorities are and how this position can assist uh, for him to be, to, to be able to accomplish some of those priorities and to also assist with the the follow-ups for the 902 consultation and make sure that that um, stays as a hot topic agenda item that needs to be addressed because I do believe that those are very critical issues that, that need to be addressed and, uh, you know, the election is over. We all work for the people. We have to put politics aside and, and uh, I'm reaching across the, all the aisles to, to be able to have those conversations. Ms. King-Hines is already set to travel to Washington, D.C. on November 12th through 27th for orientation, but not before she consults with constituents on Tinian and Rhoda. When asked if she will retain staff from the Kalili administration... I believe in continuity. Continuity uh, is very important to ensure that the work that has been done and the institutional knowledge that has been laid is not thrown out. Um, that's very important, I think, to the success of any delegate being able to just hit the ground running. The delegate is elected to serve for only a two-year term. This time limitation escalates the urgency of organizing priorities, including restoring Annex 6 to allow Chinese tourism to resume without restriction. This is but one of many other issues of concern to the CNMI. I just, I just want to really say thank you, CNMI, um, for believing that we as a commonwealth are capable and we as a commonwealth are worthy of the fight. And, uh, you know, some of these federal policies just simply do not work out here and it is impacting our, our economy. And, uh, you know, we're going to work hard. The work has already begun and uh, I hope to be able to continue to have these conversations with all of you on a regular basis because the job of the delegate is to be your voice and I cannot do it, um, I cannot do it alone. I need everybody's help, I need everybody to level up, to come uh, and have a seat at the table, to have these conversations and I need the media as well. To, to help in terms of disseminating information and to get the word out in terms of, you know, what it is that we're trying to do and, um, and just rally the community to be able to, you know, focus on priorities so that we can, uh, you know, rank them in order because obviously we have a very short time, right? And so uh, we all kind of have to agree on what are the priority items and, and, and begin to immediately address those. Thank you. All right. Thanks. Thanks. Micronesian Air held a hearing this week to make its appeal to the public for a qualifying certificate to offer a new inter-island passenger airline in the Marianas. The Commonwealth Economic Development Authority's Investment Incentive Act of 2000 gives qualifying certificates that offer tax abatements to companies in exchange for sizable investment in the local economy. Micronesian Air Connection Services, or MAX, co-owner John Stewart. We'd like to help uh, the community out by making an uh, inter-island commuter service available through our operation, Micronesian Air Cargo Services. And we um, believe we can do a good job of it, and it's also good to have com competition in the area. And uh, hopefully things will all work out and the fares will be coming down. In a public hearing this week at the cafeteria at Marianas High School, Mr. Stewart pled his case to an interested public. He expressed how his company has 30 years in the region operating air adventure tours and skydiving and during COVID expanding to air cargo and some charter flights. They hope to expand into a full-service, low-cost, inter-island passenger airline. In exchange for tax abatements, Stewart says that Max will be investing $8.2 million into airport infrastructure projects that benefit all air travelers as well as paying requisite landing fees. Questions and comments were open to the public with queries about subsidies, potential internships, landing fees. When I listened to their presentation, because I was thinking 25 years of tax relief, 
that's that's a lot uh, that the CNMI will lose. However, when the presentation states that uh, every time the airplane lands on the island of Rota, the island of Tinian, the landing fee itself is kind of like also form of a tax, where the tax free that we're going to give them for 25 years, basically with all the landing fees, it's, it's money that's going to go to the CNMI. Mr. Stewart was asked how he felt the presentation was received. Well, I feel more positive now because the public seems to be right behind us. It's been a very positive evening, so yeah, I'm very grateful for it. Chris Ogu agreed. So when you look at the entire picture uh, with this company, 30 years, uh, their presence on the island, plus another 25 years to, f to service inter-island, that's 50 years of revenue for our CNMI government. So it's a win-win situation, that's what I think. We'll do our best. That's, what, that's all I can say is that we've been here for a long time, we've, we're part of the community, we've been, we're very conscious of what goes on here and how we can make it work for everyone. And we'll do our best, as I said. As of November 1st, the NMI's number one tourist attraction, Monagaha Island, has been without a sole concessionaire. Today, we speak with MGI's new CEO about what went wrong. After the conclusion of a one-year sole concessionaire lease, Marianas Global's next year's rent payment came due. After two months of non-payment, their contract was terminated by the Department of Public Lands and the CNMI government. From public hearings, we have heard from the private boat companies. We did all that. Everything you told us, A to Z, we comply. We don't deserve to be treated this way. And from a businesswoman's perspective, I'm not going to do business with a company that doesn't pay his bills. And now we sit down with MGI's newly appointed CEO, the former executive director of the Casino Commission, Andrew Yan, to learn, now that DPL has taken control of Monagaha, how MGI will proceed. Um, more importantly, uh, separate from determination appeals, uh, this case will be most likely be headed towards the uh, civil lawsuit against the DPL and the cinema government. Um, our legal team is steadfast that we have been defrauded upon by the deceptive and impractical exclusivities that uh, DPL promised in the agreement. The fact that they committed to grant us the exclusivities on items that they do not have the proper authority for is mind-boggling and, 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 and in retrospect, we dare not even think about challenging the validity of a government agency's um, authorities as signing of this agreement. We asked if there were any possibility that MGI would pursue continuing or changing the contract for Monagaha. Well, you know, that's, that's up to the, uh, the DPL and the, uh, the CNMI government's um, will and their desire, right? We're here to make investments. We're here to make, um, you know, um, our end of the business in terms of uh, us being the, um, the expert investment firm. We didn't just come here just because of the high profitability, but we made the investment, we, or we decided to make the investment the, uh, because we, we looked at CNMI as a stable environment to make an investment for not the profitability, because we know that's going to take a, lot, take a while before we can see the, you know, the, 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 its, its highest return on value. However, it, is, it, didn't, it didn't pan out the way, we, uh, the, we, the way we envisioned. So what went wrong? When we signed up this agreement, we paid one year in advance of rent, right? They, as you know, it's 800000 uh, a year. With that, we have, we've already put down another year worth of a security deposit. That's another 800 grand, which DPO has in store. So it is being deposited. Um, and um, they, gave us, they gave us a notice of termination simply because we were being late for two to three months, and, uh, which is kind of unheard of. You don't terminate a contract just being, just being late for two to three months. But it is what it is. That is the situation we got. And I think, um, you know, and, and the, fact, the fact of the matter is, we waited and we held up on uh, payment of the rent. It's because we want DPL to comply with their end of the bargain. 
The independent boat operators argued that they were not permitted to practice their lifelong trade under the MGI lease agreement. In actuality, <laughs> when the projection was first 21 million a year, and we say, we think that, okay, 10 million a year, but in actuality, we only made about 500K. And, uh, and when we spent more than 3 million uh, last year in, in its infrastructure investment, expenses, and costs. Let's say, it, you know, your product inside, it, those who come into the uh, Jotun supermarket, right, and, and you're not paying me a rent. I, and I am the concessionaire, let's say, I am the, um, the leaseholder of the Jotun supermarket. I'm the one who provides water and power. I manage the entire supermarket. I do all the marketing. I provide water, water and power and insurance. I provide everything at, at, at my cost and expenses. And you, the vendors, or are, are, are welcome to, to, come, uh, to come over to my property and, say, uh, and sell your products. But at the same time, if you do that, I want you to pay rent. Uh, you know, th there's no, there's not a, you know, what you call a non-profit organization where you just, come and, you, you just come and display your product and sell your product for you to charge. You have to pay rent or share revenue with me. Mr. Yun says that he will stay with this position as CEO as long as it takes to settle litigation, which could last two to three years. Coming up on election day, people were not only voting, they were coming and going. Welcome to Saipan. And MVA travels across the pond to jolly old England to participate in an international tourism exhibition. That's next. goes with your flow. Get unlimited local talk, text, and data at the most affordable rate with unlimited flow postpaid. Location, location, location. Office space on Capitol Hill available now at the Hermosa Vista Business Park. With natural light and ocean views, it's the perfect place for creative professionals. So upgrade your life and your working environment. Schedule an exclusive showing now. Call us at 670-483-4750 or email hvsaipan at gmail.com. At one of Saipan's beaches, this mother lays about a hundred eggs under the cover of darkness. She hides her nest as best she can and then slowly makes her way back to the ocean. The eggs hatch and the babies head for the sea where they will face a daily dose of danger. Just one in a thousand will make it to adulthood. Those that do will one day lay their own eggs. Sea turtles are protected under CNMI law. If you see one that is stranded or if you see illegal activity, call the hotline at 287-8537. Fast, fun, and easy. That's how your home Wi-Fi should be. So start with an internet plan that fits your budget. Introducing your home Wi-Fi starter pack, also known as WISP. Enjoy up to 25 megabits per second for as low as $35 a month, plus a free router with your wireless subscription. That's hours of movies, games, social media, and more endless fun. Get your Wi-Fi starter pack today only at Docomo Pacific. Better together. Additional conditions may apply. Welcome back, CNMI. Flights were in and out, even on election day. Everyone's favorite segment, welcome to Saipan. Let's take a look. 
It's a sunshiny day at Saipan International. Flags are blowing in the wind, and the grass is getting a fresh cut. Arrivals flow in. Jacoby Cabrera just came back from Guam. Yes, uh, I went in for a drill from, for the Guam National, Guam Army National Guard, and uh, been good. Just very hot. His military experience has been a positive one. It was good. Uh, taught me, it's, uh, it taught me a lot. It, uh, gained a lot of physical activities and become better at it. As arrivals are in, departures are out. Kevin Guerrero works for Priority Care and says he is flying out to Guam for business and pleasure. Yeah, both, you know, semi, mostly for business, uh, just to uh, do a little uh, upgrade on our training and, uh, you know, improve our skills a little. Election results were not in yet when he left the island. You know, because it's the midterm, it's not as exciting, but, you know, it is exciting in the sense that this is the first uh, election for, I guess, the delegate that Kilili is not going to be running in, so that'd be interesting race. Uh, to see. Nick Repman is originally from North Carolina. He's contracted through the military and was working on the airfield in Tinian. Oh, it was very good. Um, you know, we were only here for a couple of days. You know, most of our time was spent in Tinian. Um, we were doing some work there, but, you know, kind of in between. Uh, we stayed in Saipan up in Garapan, and it was great. People were nice. Food was good. It was his first time in the Marianas. This is what he enjoyed. Oh, uh, the beaches. They're everywhere. They're accessible, um, water feels great, sand is nice, so, you know, every opportunity I got, I was on the beach, so. Welcome to Saipan, and adios, or perhaps, hasta later. The NMI is participating in one of the largest travel shows in the world, with the goal of bringing in some new investment, new ideas, and ultimately, more tourists into the Northern Marianas. The Marianas Visitors Authority is representing the NMI this week at Excel, an international exhibition convention center in London, England. Networking, best practices, digital marketing, and regenerative tourism are some of the themes of this year's World Travel Mart. And so we're promoting the CNMI as a tourist destination and also as a place to do some investments for, for multinational companies. This year, the NMI has sent representatives west in a push towards drumming up new contacts, global branding, and searching for investors. While some destinations are struggling with over-tourism, the NMI is currently dealing with under-tourism. Our biggest challenge is really shoring up our source markets. I think, you know, um, we, we just don't have enough tourists compared to pre-COVID um, to be able to, you know, allow us to breathe allow the industry to sort of be, um, you know, um, sustainable, if you will. Uh, right now, there's, we're, we're seeing really bad, um, you know, uh, hotel occupancy reports from Hanmi. Uh, they're not healthy. Uh, and so I think first things first is we need to shore up our traditional source markets in East Asia. Uh, and that includes Japan, Korea, China, Hong Kong, Taiwan. Um, and that, that's really critical. MVA's managing director, Chris Concepcion, helped man the booth located just next to Japan's. If you see this exhibition, it's probably the largest exhibition that I've ever experienced, um, bigger than anything I've seen in China or Japan or Korea. Um, the rest of the world is here, um, and just us being able to tell the story of the Marianas, where we are in the world and what, what we have to offer for tourists, um, it's been a great experience for us so far. Part of this meeting is setting up meetings with people and throughout the day. What yeah. sort of meetings have you had? Anything look productive? Yeah, so um, so it's a consumer show and it's also a B2B, B2C and a B2B uh, show. We've met back to back, we've had back to back meetings throughout the last yesterday, today, and tomorrow um, with everybody from uh, media, uh, travel agents, tour operators, uh, television companies. Um, Everybody and anybody that does travel-related work uh, to promote and sell uh, destinations. So it's been very, very eye-opening to see what the competition is out here. Um, you know, all of Southeast Asia, other Pacific Islands are here, um, our regional competitors. And so, you know, seeing what they're offering, seeing what's trendy out there, seeing what the, what's popular out there in the travel industry is very helpful for us. This is something that we need to do all the time uh, to make sure that the CNMI stays on top of things. 
MVA is currently searching for a company to help with a global branding project. It provides for uniformity across all markets so that there's, a, there's one brand, one Marianas brand that we present to the world. And so we are undergoing an RFP right now for global branding. It closed November 7, so it just closed. Um, you know, I haven't uh, seen any other proposals, but the interest is there. Uh, we received uh, requests um, from over 10 companies that were interested, and these companies are global companies based uh, in Asia, in the US, and here in Europe, actually. There's been some interest, and so it's good. Um, we'll you know, stay tuned for that as soon as the global branding project rolls out. Um, there will be a period for uh, community feedback. Uh, we want to make sure that the community in the CNMI buys into what we're doing as a, as a uh, tourism agency. We want to make sure that they support the brand that we're promoting out there because it, it represents us, the whole CNMI. Golfers come north and practice your game at the Marianas Driving Range. New Year's local specials. 10-piece coupon books available for just $60. That's a $10 savings. Want to get really good? Come work on your swing every day for just $99 per month. It's our practice pass and you're going to love it. Grab your passes and go straight to the range. You can social distance and chip all at the same time and the views are free. Reserve now at MarianasTrekking.com. You can pay online. Open seven days a week. Here's the weather. There is a 20% chance of isolated showers through the night with lows of 80 degrees, east winds of 10 to 15 miles per hour. And for the weekend, mostly cloudy and breezy with high winds of 20 miles per hour and a 20% chance of rain. Highs of 86 in the day and 80 degrees at night. In other words, a pretty lovely weekend, CNMI. The sun set tonight at 5.46 p.m. and will rise tomorrow morning at 6.16 a.m. It will then be 8.16 p.m. in London, England and definitely raining. A biting chill will be in the air causing our MVA reps to cry, bloody cold it is. While here in the CNMI, rain or shine, the sky will light up with a warm glow that comforts the spirit and welcomes the day. And I will see you in the water or on the land. Well, that is news, tourism, and weather. Uh, have a great weekend, Saipan. It's going to be lovely. And I will see you again on Monday.